welcome back so today again we are continuing with the sample paper solutions so here is your first question so what is the first question the first question is the diagonals of a rhombus measure 4 centimeter and 6 centimeter find the area in square centimeter four options are also given to you so you have to find out the area of a rhombus when two diagonals are given to you so let us understand what is a rhombus okay it's a very easy question so we have a rhombus like this all four sides of a rhombus will be equal all four sides of the rhombus will be equal and in this particular question what is given the diagonals measure four centimeter and six centimeter so we will take this four centimeter and this is six centimeter let us name it as a b c d let us name it as a b c d so we have b d equal to four centimeter b d equal to four centimeter and a c is equal to six centimeter which is given in the question you need to find out what is the area so this much you need not to write in your exam you have to understand what is a rhombus what are the pro property of a rhombus then we have the direct formula apply the formula and find out the answer so those who don't know what is a rhombus for them i am explaining it the area of a rhombus is given by the formula area of a rhombus area of a rhombus is given by the formula half into d1 into d2 that is equal to area what is d1 and d2 d1 and d2 are the diagonals of the rhombus so d1 is given to you that is 4 centimeter and d2 diagonal 2 is given to you 6 centimeter put the values here in this formula and find out the answer when you put it here this will become half into 4 into 6 4 into 6 24 24 into half will be equal to 12 centimeter square so the area of this particular diagonal uh, this particular rhombus will be equal to 12 centimeter accordingly from the given options you can mark the correct option so understand what is a rhombus what are the properties of rhombus these type of questions are only asked in your ibps exam these are our repeated questions okay rhombus different different shapes we will have to study so understand the property and any question comes related to rhombus now you can easily find out area of a rhombus is given by half into diagonal 1 into diagonal 2 diagonal 1 and 2 are given to you further if you want to explain it you can say bd is 4 centimeter so you can take 2 here and 2 here because one more property for diag uh, for the rhombus diagonals will bisect each other so they equally bisect equally uh, divide and second is 6 centimeter so you can take 3 here and 3 here so this will become a right angled triangle because this angle will be always 90 degree so these are the different properties we will be using in the case of a rhombus okay so this way you can easily find out the area of a rhombus accordingly you can mark the correct option okay please note it okay let us go to the next question so the next question is here on your board what's the question if the length of a rectangle is increased by 20 percentage and its breadth is decreased by 10 percentage what will be its effect on its area a b c d four options are also given to you you are increasing the length by 20 percentage and you are decreasing the breadth by 10 percentage so what way it will affect its area for example it is talking about what is talking about a rectangle so when we talk about a rectangle we have a rectangle like this having length l and breadth b so its area is given by a is equal to l into b a rectangle having length l and breadth b its area is given by l into b is the area in this particular case what happens in this particular case the length is increased by 20 percentage so a new rectangle will be like this having a length increased by 1.2 like its 20 percentage is increased so initially if it is 1L, 20% increase means what? 20% increase means the new length will be 1.2L. And its breadth is decreased by 10%. So 10% decrease means from 1 you decrease 10%. So the new breadth will be 0.9B. 
So now what will be the new area? New area will be equal to 1.2L into 0.9B. So when I multiply 12 nines are, we have 108. So 1.08LB. Initially we got L area is equal to what? LB. A new area will be equal to what? 1.08LB. What is the percentage increase? 0 0.8. 0 0.8 is the percentage increase. 0 0.8 the percentage increase means what? 8 percentage increase. 8 percentage increase. So, when the length is increased by 20 percentage and the breadth is decreased by 10 percentage, the new rectangle will have area 8 percentage more than the original rectangle. So this type of questions are also very very common. They may ask questions either increasing or decreasing the length or increasing or decreasing the breadth. So it is all relative comparisons. Initially we have L into B is a formula to find out the area of a rectangle. So when you increase or decrease the length or breadth of a rectangle, accordingly you will get a new area. Compare the new area with the original area to find out what is the increase or decrease in the in percentage. Okay, accordingly you can find out and mark the correct option. Please note it. So let us see the next question. So the next question is here on your board. What's the question? The ratio between the length and breadth of a rectangular plot is 7 is to 3. If the perimeter of that rectangular plot is 840 meters, what is its length? A, B, C, D, four options are also given to you. So the length and breadth are in the ratio 7 is to 3. So whenever we have questions like this, let us take the length and breadth in the ratio 7 is to 3. So 7x will be the length and 3x will be the breadth. So 7 is to 3. Whenever we have 7 is to 3, whenever a ratio is given to you, we will take it is in the form of 7x and 3x. If the ratio is 5 is to 4, then we will take it as 5x and 4x. If the ratio is given to you 8 is to 7, then 8x and 7x. Whatever ratio is given to you, accordingly we can take the length and breadth. And the perimeter is also given to you. So perimeter is what? The sum of all four sides. Here it is 7x means here also it will be 7x. Here it is 3x means here also it will be 3x. So perimeter P is equal to 7x plus 7x plus 3x plus 3x. 7 plus 7, 14. 14 plus 6, 20. 20x is given to you. How much in the question? 840 meters. 840 meters. So from here you can find out what is x. x is equal to 840 by 20. You can cut 0 and 0. And 84 by 2, you got 42. So you got the value of x. x is equal to 42. What we need to find out here? We need to find out the length of that rectangular plot. So length is 7x. So length L is equal to 7x, that is 7 into 42. So you can say the correct answer is 294. Accordingly, you can mark the correct option. So calculation part is not tough. You have to understand what is asked in the question. Accordingly, proceed and mark it. Once you practice it with more and more questions, you can definitely increase your speed and easily you can crack all these type of questions. Kindly note it. By selling 55 articles, a merchant gains the cost of 11 articles. His gain percentage is A, B, C, D, four options are also given to you. You have to find out what is his gain percentage. By selling 55 articles, he gains the article of the cost of 11 articles. So that is his profit. So what is given? Let us take one article he sold for 1 rupee and he got it for 1 rupee. So 55 article, let us take, he take, he purchased that 55 articles for 55 rupees. That is his cost price. So let us take, let CP is equal to rupees 55 what we do 
we assume that he has taken he has purchased 55 articles for 55 rupees each article 1 rupee so 55 rupees he purchased the items that is the cost price for him so cp is equal to 55 while selling these items he got some profit what's a profit the profit is the cost of 11 articles so if one article is 1 rupee if 55 articles are costing 55 rupees then the cost of 11 articles will be 11 rupees so cost of 11 articles is the profit cost of 11 articles is the profit so profit is equal to 11 rupees so profit is equal to rupees 11 that is the cost of 11 articles that is the cost of 11 articles now what we need to find out we need to find out what is the profit percentage so we have profit percentage is equal to profit by cp into 100 all this formula you cannot because they are very important and they won't change this formula will not change any type of question comes questions will change but the formula remains same so when we practice when we do this sample paper solutions what actually i want to tell you not all the important formula so that it will become easy for you to prepare for your competitive exams so profit percentage is what we want so profit we got 11 11 by cp we got 55 into 100 you can cut it 11 and 55 5 times 5 and 100 20 times so profit percentage will be equal to 20 percentage that is the answer accordingly from the given options you can find out which is the correct option and you can mark it okay so this type of questions are very very common from the topic profit and loss please note it so here is your next question so the next question is by selling an article for rupees 450 a person loss 20 percentage in order to make a profit of 20 percentage he must sell it for options are also given to you so by selling an article for 450 he got a loss loss of 20 percentage 450 is the selling price when the article is sold for 450 rupees he got a loss a loss of 20 rupees 20 percentage but he want to make a profit so if you want to make a profit of 20 percentage what must be its selling price an article when sold for 450 rupees he got a loss loss of 20 percentage but he want to make a profit of 20 percentage so what should be the selling price that is what we want to find out so you want to find out the selling price you can find out the selling price only when you have the cost price so first part you will have to find out what is the cost price once you got the cost price then you can find out what is the selling price so according to the given information according to the given question let us find out what is cp here what is given first we have selling price is given when he sold it for how much when he sold it for 450 rupees he got a loss of 20 percentage so loss percentage is given to you sp is given to you when loss percentage and sp are given we can find out cp using the formula cp is equal to sp into the formula to find out cp sp into 100 divided by 100 minus loss percentage so when we do it we will get cp is equal to sp is 450 into 100 by 100 minus 20 100 minus loss percentage 100 minus 20 equal to 80 you can cut this 0 and 0 you can cut here 5 times here 4 times then again you can cut it 2 times here you have 225 okay so even if you keep it like this you can make it as 2 to 2 to 5 0 divided by 4 directly multiplication if you don't cut it or further if you want to make it 2 you can make it as what uh, 1 1 2 5 divided by 2 so this is a cp 
Now, what actually we want to make? We want to make a profit. A profit of how much? We want to make a profit of 20 percentage. Now, we got CP also. CP is equal to what? This value let us pick. Any one value. 2250 divided by 4 is a CP. What we need to find out? We need to find out the SP. We should sell it for what amount? So, SP is equal to the formula is or this important formula you cannot very very important formula. SP is given by when you have CP and profit percentage SP is calculated by SP is equal to CP into 100 plus profit percentage divided by 100. Very important formula. So, using this SP will be equal to what? SP equal to CP we got 2250 divided by 4 into 100 plus profit percentage 120 divided by 100 cut zeros and you can cut this three times so 3 225 into 3 it becomes 675 so we must sell it for 675 rupees then only he can make a profit of 20 percentage Initially, when he sold it for 450, he got a loss of 20 percentage. But if he sell it for 675 rupees, he will get a profit of 20 percentage. So, accordingly, you can mark the correct answer. Very important. So, when you note it, not this important formula. Very, very important. Kindly note it. So, here is your next question. A very simple question. Two successive discounts of 10% and 5% are equal to a single discount of four options are also given. 10% and 5% two successive discount. First you will give 10% discount then 5% discount. What will be the total discount? Directly 10 plus 5 equal to 15 we cannot add. Why? Because suppose the original cost is 100 rupees. Suppose the original cost is 100 rupees. Now, when you give a 10% discount, so after 10% discount, after 10% discount, this will become 90. 100 minus 10, 90. Now, you are giving a 5% discount on 90, not on 100. So, 5% of 90 is equal to 4.5. So, 4.5 when you subtract from here, the new cost will come but the new cost will be equal to uh, 90 minus 4.5, 85.5. So, the item or the article which is originally cost 100 rupees after 10 percentage and 5 percentage discount, it becomes 85.5. So, what is the difference 100 minus 85.5? 100 minus 85.5 is equal to 14.5 that is 14 and half percentage that is the total discount. So whenever two successive discounts are given on any article when an article is sold initially you are giving a 10 percentage discount and then you are giving a 5 percentage discount total 10 plus 5 equal to 15 will be a wrong answer. We have to calculate the 5 percentage on 90. So, the successive uh, discounts are not taken as the sum of the discount. We have to calculate it separately. So, we have a shortcut method also for this. We will be discussing all the shortcut methods in the next video. So, this way you can calculate and you can find out the uh, correct option. In the next video, we are planning to uh, do all the mathematical shortcut methods exclusive video for shortcut methods okay so don't forget to watch that video that will definitely help you and part number one two three four and five or sample paper solutions are given in the descriptions you can watch that also those who have not completed part number one to five complete that first and then come to this part number six so in the next video we'll be continuing with the part number seven eight like that so your exams are uh, nearing their upcoming exams will be there in the month of uh, november december so before that we will have to complete all the sample paper solutions okay so we'll meet in the next video take care bye bye